Hi, my name is Corey Glassman. I'm the Automotive Program Manager at Fluke Corporation. Hey, a friend of mine gave me his car because his rear window defogger grid hasn't been working. So we're going to use the Fluke 233 today to be in two places at one time. We're going to go ahead and hook up to the back of the defroster grid and then we're going to take a look inside to see if the switch is working and supplying power. So let's take a look. I have my 233 inside. Nice part about the 233 is that it looks like a standard multimeter. But I can separate the head from the base and I can put the head wherever I need it to look at the measurement. So what we're going to do is connect the leads across the defroster grid. Make sure it's on volts DC. Then I'm going to take the head with me up to the front of the vehicle. And let's activate the rear defroster grid. Turn the key on. Let's push the switch. Well, looks like we have voltage back at the grid. So the next step in the diagnostics would be to use the meter and measure resistance on the defroster grid in each location along the grid. So I'll change the meter to resistance. We'll take one of the leads, take the end off. Now the Fluke product comes with these really neat back probe pins. Flexible and yet they're really sharp. So I'll take the grid, I'll take the probe and run it up against the grid. Now we're measuring resistance. So I can take a look at each point and monitor the resistance along the grid. What I'm looking for is an open. If I sense an open condition, I'm going to find the one part of the grid that's not working. Now this seems to be working okay. So I can verify operation by looking at not only the resistance of the entire grid, but then by looking at a voltage drop later. So this is actually looking pretty good. It may have been a loose connection at the grid. There we go. Because I noticed this one was a little loose when it plugged in before. So tighten that. We have a good connection here. I think the problem's fixed. I don't think the guy's going to have an issue with his rear defroster grid. Well, there you've seen it. You've seen the use of the 233. I could be in two places at one time. It's really tough when you're working alone to take measurements from the rear of the vehicle and have them inside the cab where you need to actuate some switches, such as the brake switch if you're taking a look at the rear lights, for instance or on a road test where I want to measure something under the hood. The 233 really is there for you to make those measurements. So this is Corey Glassman. I hope your diagnostics all prove out to be very successful.